Hello, and welcome to this guided meditation with me, Nikki Allen. Spirit Reunion. There is nothing on this earth that is worse than us having to go through losing a loved one, whether that be a pet, a partner, family member or friend. There is nothing that seems to be able to bring us comfort during this time. The only thing we can possibly aspire to is that somewhere in the heavenly realms our loved ones are watching over us. I must make it exceptionally clear that this guided meditation is not a replacement for you to naturally grieve your loved one. This is a strong visualization intended for people to connect with the soul or spirit of the loved one that they wish to connect with as an enhancement, as a way for you to reunite and celebrate eternal life. If you feel that you may be more upset by doing this meditation, please do not do it yet. Allow yourself to naturally grieve going through those cycles, as painful as they may be. And once you get to a stage of acceptance, then perhaps you could give this guided meditation a try. This meditation is best experienced during a quiet, calm time where you don't feel any stress. It's best experienced using headphones. And please do not be driving or doing anything, connecting with machinery whilst listening. I first want you to find the most comfortable space you can be in, whether it's sitting or laying down. And I want you to take some lovely deep breaths in and out. In and out. In. Holding that breath and release. I would like for you to close your eyes and know that only the music of my voice is relevant to this experience at this current time. That you will not be distracted by any other sound apart from my voice. Allow me to take you safely and lovingly on this wonderful visualization. You are completely safe, you are completely well. You are completely relaxed as you listen to my voice. With every breath in and every release, you find yourself feeling more relaxed. And when you can, visualize yourself almost looking down at yourself, either sitting there or laying there, with all of your limbs, your legs, your arms, your head, in a very comfortable position. Totally relax listening to my voice, feeling for the first time in a while, safe, quiet, relaxed. Imagine as you look down at yourself that you can see a blue glittering light just above your head. This blue glittering light starts to spread out almost like a cloud. And in that cloud, beautiful rain particles start to drop over your head area. Glittery silver blues start to go past your head, down past your eyelids, making your eyes feel heavy. Down past your nose, your mouth, relaxing your tongue, relaxing your jaw, slowing down your breathing even more. You then see this beautiful silver blue light go down past your throat, down to your shoulders, relaxing as they go, down past your chest, acknowledging your slow, deep breaths. And you can see this glittery, beautiful blue light running down both your arms, past your elbows, 
pass down to your wrists, your hands, your fingers, making them feel heavy but light at the same time, totally relaxed. You then see this beautiful glittery rain shine down past your solar plexus, your tummy. And as this beautiful blue silver light reaches your solar plexus, the core of your soul, it tells you to relax even further and prepare you for the vibration that you shall be entering very soon. The beautiful glittery rain then passes down to your hip area, relaxing your hip, the bottom of your back, allowing your body to feel light, feeling no pain, no discomfort. It shimmers down past your thighs to your knees, relaxing the top half of your legs, then down past your calves to your ankles and then to your feet. And just to complete this beautiful light bathes you in the tips of your toes. And as you look down on yourself, you can see yourself completely, completely bathed in this beautiful blue silver light. Very, very slowly, that light starts to meet in the middle of your body and starts to spiral upwards. Your soul is resonating with this color and the color is starting to slowly spin upwards, taking your soul, your thoughts, your feelings up into a beautiful divine space. You follow this light as it spirals and spirals, ascending, ascending, and see that it goes up through the roof of wherever you are you can see nothing but clouds and a beautiful bright sky. And there is you, your spiral getting higher and higher and higher. You feel yourself lift with this visualization, watching these silvers and blues get higher and higher past the cloud line. You see yourself going through this cloud line, the white mist surrounding you, feeling cool, feeling fresh. And very slowly, that silver blue light starts to solidify into a big mass of energy. And then very slowly, you see your arms form through this light, your legs, your face, your whole body now becomes pure and solid, still bathed in this beautiful blue silver light. You feel yourself back in this shape, back in this shape that has spiraled up and now manifested into your physical body. And as you look around you, you can see nothing but white mist, feeling how pure, how safe, how beautiful it is. Cool on your skin, cool on your feet. And despite not being able to see where you're going, you start to walk forward. And as you walk forward, each step is almost like a beautiful crystalline feeling cool on your feet, making you feel completely relaxed and free. The mist starts to just gently, gently disappear in front of you. And as you look in front of you, you can see a huge, beautiful landscape where there's fields that go on forever and ever, beautiful snow-capped mountains to one side, and to the left you can see another season, bright sunshine and blue sky. You find yourself in a plain full of the four north, south, east, west environments of the world of the heavenly realms. Here is where your soul is taken. Here is where your loved one is first taken before they go to the reality layer. You find yourself walking along this beautiful path in the middle of a field and you can hear birdsong. You can feel the sun just 
gently glowing on the back of your shoulders and your head. The air seems sweeter. It seems lighter. Everything seems more vibrant, more colorful. All the flowers around your feet as you walk through this path brush your calves with their vibrant colors. You can smell these beautiful flowers as you walk through them. This is the most beautiful, inviting space, full of color, vibrancy, hope, and happiness. And as you walk along this path, you look to your left and you see quite a curious building. It looks almost like a garden hut. You can see that it's made of stone with a small door at the front and a very ornamental roof on top and know instinctively that you must go into this space. So you turn left and start to walk towards this hut and as you see on the door there is a handle bright silver in its beautiful shining existence and you know that you must turn this handle to open this door. And as you turn the handle, the heavenly realms acknowledge your request. You are requesting to have just some time with a loved one that you miss. Someone who you know has passed over, you've accepted they've passed over, and now you're ready to embrace and invite a wonderful reunion with them. So as you start to open the door, visualize now who you wish to connect with. Think of their face, think of their smile, think of all of the funny things they did, everything that made you love them. Think of their personality, their favorite clothes, a photograph that you hold dear that you regularly look at. Create the essence, create the energy, create the intent of who you wish to speak with. Feel excited and feel expectant, for your intention is now being heard. Archangel Jeremiah is now listening to the intent that you wish to have a connection with this beautiful person that you miss in the physical. As you open the door, you find yourself in the most beautiful white room. The whiteness is almost blinding, but because you're in this wonderful space, it doesn't feel too bright at all. It feels fresh and pure. Looking straight ahead of you, you see two chairs. They can be whatever type of chairs you wish comfy squishy chairs back supported chairs your higher self will create what chairs you need to sit down in there's an empty chair opposite you and you know that your intentions have been heard by Archangel Jeremiah the Archangel of Heaven the transition of the soul There is a door beyond this chair, bright white, with the same silver handle that you had on the hut as you walked in. You know that when that handle turns, the person who you wish to connect with and chat with will walk through that door. Prepare yourself and know that you'll be in the most safe, beautiful, loving environment to be able to connect with that loved one. You look up to the door and see the handle start to turn. Slowly, slowly the door opens, your heart quickens and there, standing there, looking at you, is a person or the pet that you wanted to see. They rush up to you, you stand up from your chair. 
and you give them the biggest embrace possible. The two souls connecting, the spirit reunion complete, thoughts, feelings, emotions, love, grief, sadness, all mixed together in this beautiful reunion. And now that you have both connected on a soul to soul level, allow yourselves to sit next to each other or opposite each other. And as you look at your beautiful loved one, take hold of their hands. Well, this will allow you the connection that you need to create a conversation and an adventure that you can both go on. So it is here that I leave you to enjoy this beautiful reunion. Go and embrace everything you possibly can with your loved one. Have this special time with them. Go forward and have the most miraculous time enjoying and embracing the love of that person.
wherever you may be, wherever you may be doing, know that it is now time for you to say goodbye just for this once. Wherever you've been taken, you may still even be in the same room. Hold the hands of your loved one, or even if it's a pet, have that last cuddle. Tell them how you're feeling. Tell them how you're struggling. Ask them for whatever help you need. Ask them perhaps to give you signs on how they can visit you. Most of all, tell them how much you love them and promise that any messages they have given you will be passed on to the rest of your family and friends. As you look into their eyes, know that you can come to this space whenever you wish. This is not a final goodbye. Have one last cuddle with them feeling their love, their strength in their new spirit form. Remember every single moment that you have been with them during this time and know they are safe and they are well. Know that they can still look over you 24 seven when you're back down on the earth plane. And know that you can come to them anytime as well now. This has opened your vibration so that your soul recognizes where to come to and who to speak with as you send your intent opening that hut door. This is a time of celebration and happiness. This is not a time to be sad. This is a time to embrace the fact that our souls are immortal. Know that you will always be guided, loved and shown the way whilst you're on the earth plane. You will never ever be alone. Know this as you sit down next to your loved one. When you take your hands away from your loved one or your pet, know that you will be breaking the connection between you just for this time. And know and remember, you can always come back. So where you are now, I want you to visualize closing your eyes. Give that one last pinch, one last hold and then take your hands back to your own body, placing them on your lap. And as you close your eyes, you can hear the voice of your loved one just telling you the last thing they want you to hear before you come back on the earth plane. And if you're with a pet, know that they are with you, love you and understand and hear you. It makes no difference if you're a pet or a person our souls can understand and hear each other. Feel happy. It's hard. It's difficult to let go on the physical plane. But isn't this easier to know that you can connect with them whenever you wish and also to know they are with you every time you need them. Your eyes are now closed in this room. Open them up and you will find that the person that you love is now not in the room. They have gone back to the reality layer. Will always be there to watch over you. The door that you notice them come in has now got a second door next to it. This door is green. This door represents healing. This door represents Archangel Raphael. 
Instinctively you know you have to get up and go to this green door. And as you touch the handle, you are connecting with the healing ray of Archangel Raphael. And this healing will help you through the worst of your grieving. This healing will help you to rejoice in the fact that your loved one is still about. Even though you can't physically touch them, with a soul connection forever in place, you shall never be apart. The green rays come completely up your arm, around your body, as you pull open this door. As the door opens, you can see a thick, vibrant green mist. And you find yourself walking through it, feeling like the clouds earlier, cool, fresh, a lovely breeze on your face, being completely encompassed in the love and the healing of Archangel Raphael, completely surrounded in this beautiful green mist. And as the mist clears, you can see your back in the room where you first started off. You can see your body there relaxed, sitting or laying. This is a time to feel at peace with the fact your loved one is in the spirit world. This is a time to feel peace with yourself. This is a time for you to gain courage, to go through each day, absorbing the grieving stages and finding ways to improve your life, to live on, to embrace new opportunities, to take yourself further forward in life, knowing that one day you will meet again and be together forever. For the time being, you have your time on the earth plane to experience the love of other people, to experience the laughter of the people around you who you embrace, to take on new opportunities and experiences. Well, this is what you have asked for before you even came down to the earth plane. The bigger picture is our lives are eternal and this tiny visit on the earth plane is just a small speck of your existence with your loved one who you've just come from. They will wait patiently for you, but they will also visit you, guide you and show you signs and synchronicities to help you on your earth path. Be kind to yourself, honour your pain, reach out to people who can help you. All of these thoughts, advice and affirmations will now reside in your energy as you take yourself back to your physical body. You almost feel like you're sitting back in your body, slowly, 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 sitting back, looking down at yourself and seeing yourself in your physical body, feeling relaxed, feeling calm, feeling stronger than you felt for a while knowing that you can go back to that space anytime you wish to see your loved one. There is nothing after all better than a beautiful catch up with someone that you adore. You feel yourself feeling heavy now as you find yourself in your physical body. Be aware of your breathing back in your physical body, your lungs expanding. And take three deep breaths to acknowledge yourself back in the physical world, back in this physical room, back in your physical body. Start to wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes and be completely aware of your physical presence. And only when you feel well and right, open your eyes. You may now experience an emotional session of wanting to cry perhaps. And this is a healthy thing to do. There is nothing wrong with allowing everything to come out. You have been through a large, large doorway of many experiences connected with the spirit world. You have received healing. You have received love and guidance from your loved one. Now know that you are safe and well and looked after by that loved one and all the rest of them that are up there. You're never alone. Do not forget this as you start your daily tasks. When your eyes are awake and you've dealt with how you're feeling, do something grounding you so that you can get back down to earth doing what you need to do. Either have a cup of tea, 
have some water, eat some chocolate. Yes, chocolate is wonderful for grounding. Good news to you all. As I said at the beginning of this meditation, there is nothing, nothing harder than you having to get over the loss of a loved one. But with this little spiritual tool on your belt, perhaps it will make it just a bit easier. Take care, be kind to yourself, and know that every day you continue to fight is another day towards your healing. <laughs>